Justice is served, son! Our teal-blooded, legally blind troll, Terezi Pyrope, was named by Cashew Squared and Dragoshi on the old MS Paint Adventure forums. Terezi's last name is most likely a reference to her red spectacles, as well as her burnt red eyes, since Pyrope derives from the Greek words for fire and eyes. Coincidentally, the name of the dragon Lucis Pyrospite who also shares similarities with Terezi, with her red glowing eyes, is also the name of a subgroup of garnets that includes pyro, a type of red garnet. The name Terezi has many possible references associated with it. Terezi is not only the Albanian word for Libra, or balance, but it's also the word for scales in Albanian, Turkish, and Ukrainian. Her name may also be a reference to Tiresias, a blind prophet from Sophocles' Oedipus Cycle and Homer's Odyssey. Lastly, her name may also be a reference to Denny Teresi, a blind American radio DJ. An important thing of note is that Mr. Teresi was formerly a phone freak, a person who likes to study and experiment with the telecommunication systems. Many of the freaks reverse engineered or outright hacked into the phone system, and Teresi himself had mastered the phone company's jargon, allowing him to speak with phone company employees and trick them into revealing more information about it. With this, it seems only fitting that Homestuck's Teresi has a typing quirk that resembles the computer hacking alphabet of Leetspeak, replacing the vowels A, I, and E, respectively, with 4, 1, and 3. Wait a second! Terezi's Trollian screen name is Gallows Calibrator. This may indicate that she is the one who, whether literally or figuratively, calibrates the gallows where wrongdoers are hanged, referencing her desire for justice, order, and law, as well as her fervent belief that lawbreakers must be punished with due severity. The Calibrator part of her username may also refer to Terezi being the troll which calibrates all the other trolls through her class spec role and keeps them focused on the tasks at hand. But more on that later. It also has her zodiac sign Libra in it, lol! Terezi is shown to have a fondness for dragons, especially their colorful scales, and owns several scalemate plushies that she likes to hang from her treehouse. Her love for dragons may be a pun on draconian law, a type of law code in ancient Athens where death was the punishment for most lawbreakers, something that Terezi was very into up until the point where she killed Vriska. Speaking of law, considering the fact that she is blind, is fond of justice, and is associated to the zodiac sign of Libra, Terezi is a reference to Lady Justice, who is depicted as blind and carrying a pair of scales. Terezi's ancestor was Neophyte Redglare, a young but talented legislatorator and also a secret follower of the Signless's teachings. She was hired by the Grand Highblood to bring in the notorious pirate Marquise Spinneret Mindfang and put her on trial. Redglare was successful, ripping one of Mindfang's arms from her body and having Pyral Spite blind her in one eye while she was being apprehended. Unfortunately, the trial was witnessed by hundreds of easily manipulated rust bloods, causing Mind Fang to kill Red Glare with a lynch mob and get away with literal murder. Continuing with the theme of Alternian trolls finishing the work of their ancestors, Terezi later kills Briska, but after the retcon, she instead becomes her Moirail. Maybe friendship is the best route for fixing horrible people. Terezi's text color is 008282. Funnily, the 28th element on the periodic table of elements is nickel, a metal that has a long history of being used for coin currency, and it resists heat so well that it's often used to cover up more easily melted materials like copper. In fact, 
Its name is the shortened form for the German... Oh no, I'm not pronouncing that. <laughs> Kupfernickel. Meaning either Devil's Copper or St. Nicholas's Copper. St. Nicholas being the patron saint of many things, including the falsely accused and repentant thieves. Nicholas found an ore like greenish garnierite, but it is found most abundantly mixed with iron, Karkat's element. Interestingly, if Terezi's hex color code is translated to RBG color coding, it has an equal measurement of blue and green with absolutely no red. Things really are complicated with Karkat. Back to coins, Terezi's coin is a double-headed troll cigar. Confirmed troll currency. Her use of a two-headed coin with one side scratched is similar to the habit of Batman villain Two-Face, whom she has never heard of. Specifically, this is the Two-Face as he was portrayed in The Dark Knight, as Terezi does not entirely depend on the coin to determine an outcome. However, unlike Two-Face's coin, the scratch side of Terezi's coin is only defaced by a single scratch through the eye, probably representing her blindness. The bust on the coin resembles the busts of Venus that were on some of the Roman denarius coins issued during the reign of Julius Caesar. Coincidentally, Venus is the ruling planet of the zodiac sign of Libra. Terezi also shares several characteristics with the Marvel character Daredevil, whom she's also never heard of. Both of them are blind and use their remaining super-enhanced senses to get by. They also both use canes as weapons. Terezi's appearance also has many similarities to the secret identity and to both the Daredevil and Man Without Fear iterations of his costume. Lastly, Daredevil's civilian identity, Matt Murdock, is an attorney, which is paralleled by Terezi's ambition of becoming a legislacerator. Continuing with inspirations for Terezi's appearance, we have two possible references for the Ace Attorney series. First is Godot, a prosecutor and former defense attorney. Godo has impaired vision like Terezi and wears a red visor, which is similar to her red glasses. He also wears a teal-colored shirt, and his original Japanese name contains the word for dragon. Continuing with the Ace Attorney series, Terezi's colors are red and teal. This could be based off of Apollo Justice's suit. It would make sense that she would have multiple ties to the Ace Attorney series, as one of her songs, Blind Justice Investigation, is essentially a mashup between Suburban Jungle and the cornered theme from the series. The game Undertale features a character named Pyrope, most likely named after Terezi, as the game's creator, Toby Fox, made music for Homestuck, including Terezi's lead motif, the Lemon Snout Turnabout. Terezi's songs tend to be orchestral, often incorporating harpsichords, a musical instrument that was a precursor to the piano. Like fellow seer Rose Lalonde, Terezi has a former Carapacian queen serving as her exile, Snowman. She is one of the only game players who shares an exile with another, that being her Moirail, Riska Serket. There is more to the connection between the Scourge sisters than meets the eye. In ancient times, the constellation Libra was originally considered to be part of the Scorpius constellation, the Claws specifically. Terezi's close relationship with Riska may be an allusion to this fact. Terezi, along with Karkat, is one of the few post-scratch trolls that inherited their class and aspect from the same two pre-scratch trolls. As the Seer of Mind, she inherited the Seer class from Kankri Vantas, and the Mind aspect from her ancestor Latula, while Karkat inherited the opposite. While this reflects both Kankri and Latula's unresolved feelings for each other, this also shows a connection to Karkat and Terezi's own romantic tension towards each other. Considering that Terezi is so associated with dragons, it almost seems ironic that the two characters who have harbored serious red feelings for her are knights, and both are associated with her favorite color, red. Going into small details you may or may not remember, it's shown that Terezi painted her toenails the same purple as Gamsi's blood color after becoming his kismesis. This was probably done as a sign of devotion to him, though, since their relationship was still a secret, it was still able to be easily hidden away from Dave and Karkat when she wears shoes. 
At first, in this flashback scene within the dream bubbles, it looks like Teresi's crying, since trolls have the biological ability to cry tears hued after their blood color, and because it's recently after her eyes were burned and she was blinded. But remember, troll tears are more transparent than the actual blood color of the troll they're from, which leads to the unsettling alternative. Terezi's actually bleeding out of her scalding eyes. Let's focus on this one quote that the comic makes about the first time Terezi woke up on Prospid. The first time you caught a glimpse of this world in your dreams, there was no turning back. The statement of Terezi's awakening gains much more meaning when you realize she woke up on the planet due to Vriska's revenge, and it was most likely the last thing she ever saw. Well, that's not entirely true. Many fans have brought up a strange inconsistency with Terezi's dream self, noting that if the dream selves of Vriska and Tavros are healed of their injuries and physical limitations, why is Terezi's still blind? It is later revealed in a conversation with Carcat that Terezi, while on Prospet, can see, but she chooses not to. She says she doesn't see her blindness as a handicap, so she kept it that way. In fact, Teresi's blindness did more good than harm in the end. Teresi's class spec is the Seer of Mind. Due to there only being two mind players in the whole of the comic, not much is known about what this particular aspect can do. But theorists can string together a few clues to what it might be. Mind players tend to be focused on the thoughts and decisions of the game players. Terezi, being the passive seer class, is able to channel her powers to see not only what other players' actions would cause, but also what her actions would do, even in offshoot and ultimately doomed timelines. Terezi also has the unique ability to let others, namely the living glitch known as John Egbert, travel to various points of her life in the game using a password locked page and various keywords. Almost like an index to a video game guidebook. With these powers, along with an extensive knowledge of the game, Terezi was allowed to do what seers do best, strategize, and then coordinate or manipulate her teammates with her mind games. The mind aspect may also have to do with the concepts of karma and justice, since both mean a lot to Latula, Red Glare, and Terezi. Terezi in particular is so motivated by her sense of justice that it affects every aspect of her life, including her intrapersonal relationships, especially with Riska and Gamzi. Heroes of the mind aspect also seem to be able to communicate with the otherwise undetectable dream splinters that players create in the dream bubbles, Though this may only be possible for Terezi, being the seer of mind and literally seeing, in a sense, the mental image of Dirk left behind by Jake. I wonder if the creation of Dream Splinters is only part of the page class. <gasps> Maybe that's why in the Alternia Bound Flash, Terezi tells Tavros not to let anyone say to him that Rufio isn't real. Maybe there was a Dream Splinter Rufio, and Terezi could see him, in a sense, because of her powers. <gasps> Terezi wasn't just cheering up Tavros, she was being completely sincere. Aww. Thank you guys so much for watching this Fridge Stuck episode for Terezi Pyrope. I hope you enjoyed. Any facts I missed? Do you have a character or a concept that you'd like to see? Leave it down in a comment below and it might end up on the show someday. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Every single one of us wakes up in the morning and asks ourselves this question, how can I make the world a better place? However, not many of us take the steps necessary to actually do so. What's so amazing about Terezi is not only did he volunteer to murder Riska Circuit out of the goodness of his heart, he also did so knowing that he would not be able to see the life leave their stupid, godless eyes. 
for he was blind, and too small to see that high up anyway. Terezi did what he did for purely altruistic reasons, and never once thought about himself during his ill-fated quest. And for that reason, Terezi will always have a special place in my heart.